everybody. Mm. Ah. Jamie, couldn't you carry your own luggage? Mm. No. <laughs> I can't wait to get out of these clothes. Vicky, would you unpack that bag and put it in the closet? Unpack that bag. <laughs> it's unpacked. Thanks, I needed that. You know, this place is really lovely. It was sure nice of your boss, Mr. Jennings, to invite us up to this health resort for the weekend. Yeah, and I can't wait to tell Brandon Brendel. He's going to be sick with jealousy because he wasn't invited. <laughs> Ted, why start trouble? Brandon's still your supervisor at the office. Yeah, but he's such a sleazeball. And he always takes credit for my ideas. Yeah. You know, I, I bet it gets cold up here in the mountains at night. Uh, Vicki, would you see if there are any extra blankets at the top shelf of that closet? Extra blankets? <laughs> What'd you say, Vicky? What's wrong, Vicky? It, your eye? No, Dad, I think she's trying to tell us something. I. 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 Well, I. I waste basket. You're a waste basket. <laughs> I, I, I trash. I can't. 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 I cannot talk. I cannot talk. We knew that. Come here, Vicky. I guess I better check you out. Open up. Yeah, when she stretched her neck, her voice synthesizer module must have disengaged from her pseudo-laryngeal servo mechanism. Yeah. What does that mean? It means she can't talk. We knew that. Okay, that should do it. Okay, don't let her stretch her neck, all right? Okay, close your mouth. All better, Vicky. Thanks. I needed that. <laughs> Good morning, troops. My, isn't it a glorious day? <laughs> I could jog forever. <laughs> Mr. Jennings, don't you look fit? Never felt better, Todd. It's, uh, Ted. Of course. And it's because I exercise. And any man that wants to get ahead of my company should do the same thing. Right, Ted? That's right. And it's Ted. <laughs> yes, sir. A sound body makes a sound mind makes a sound worker. That's why I invited all my key employees up here for the weekend. Oh, it was very generous of yeah. you, Mr. Jennings. Yes, it was, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> but I'm afraid in my extreme generosity, I seem to have done rather a dumb thing. <laughs> no, you get out of town. <laughs> yes, inadvertently, I seem to have invited too many people and there aren't enough rooms to go around. Oh. So I wonder if you would mind sharing your condo with someone. Oh, oh not at all. Oh, no, plenty of room here. Good. Hi. <laughs> oh, no, not Brandon Brindle. I got it all worked out, Teddy. I'll take the master suite and you can all share the bunk beds. <laughs> I can't believe it. Five miles of bicycling. If I make it home alive, I'm gonna burn my bike. <laughs> Don't complain. I pedaled. You sat on the handlebar. Ted, do we have to do this? Gyms make me feel funny, you know, kind of self-conscious. Joni, come on. Don't be silly. I mean, look around. It's just a bunch of out-of-shape executives. <laughs> Exercise. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think I'm gonna wait around till I uh, work up a, a good sweat, you know? Looks <laughs> like you already did. <laughs> Hello there. I'm your instructor, Hans Hunkerfoot. <laughs> but you can call me Hunk. <laughs> That's it. We're out of here. <laughs> Being a karate champion and all, I have to watch every move I make. I mean, hey, junior high can be a jungle, but dangerous what I live for. Mind holding this for me? No sweat. <laughs> 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 
Now, let me show you how to use this weight. You just put your hand underneath mine, like okay. this, and we lift, oh. like this. Oh. <laughs> Let me show you my other ways. What's mom doing? Working out with a dumbbell. <laughs> oh, Ted, this is great. Uh, why don't you go and uh, take your workout, huh? Yeah, fine. Yeah, okay. Come on, Vicky. Oh, <laughs> I think I'll do a little work on the old uh, pectorals. That's, uh, please. <laughs> I think somebody super glued this to the rack. Need a hand, Dad? No, I think... <laughs> Hit me with another protein shake, Joe. Make it a double. <laughs> Hi there, big fella. Make it a triple. <laughs> Hi there, Timmy baby. I just came down to watch you sweat. You know what they say, no pain, no gain. In your case, make that big pain no brain. <laughs> Come on, Brandy, you haven't done any exercise since you've been here. Yeah. But you can't take off your shirt without attracting flies. <laughs> <laughs> well, Brendel, I see you're really pumping that old iron. Yes, sir. That's why they call me Brandon the Body Brindle. I was just bench pressing 100 pounds. Really? Well, I'd like to see that. What a good idea, Mr. Jennings. Come on, Brandon, why don't you press 100 pounds right now? Yes, that would be wonderful. <laughs> well, I don't like to show off. Come on, Brandon. Mr. Jennings insists. <laughs> I'll get you for this. That's impressive, Brendel. Well, keep up the good work, man. Help me! Help me! My back! Well, does it really hurt? Yes! I guess you have hurt your back. will return after these messages. the burglary. Are you okay? Ah, don't worry. Everyone's just fine. Dad, we brought Mr. Brindle back from the gym and we opened the door and there was a burglar standing there. And he grabbed Vicky and took her hostage and threatened our lives and we almost got killed. It was great. <laughs> Vicky, are you all right, honey? Oh, what? Vicky lost her voice again. It must have been during the burglary. Mr. Jennings, seems the burglar got away, but at least he left his loot behind. Well, good. Uh, this is Officer Fielding of the Resort Security Office. The thief hit several of the condos before somebody here stopped him. We'll do everything we can to catch him. Well, certainly looks like someone is a hero here. And that person deserves a reward. Reward? Did somebody call me? <laughs> I really don't like to brag. I do. 
Let me tell you what happened. I'll tell him. Now, one at a time, please. Jamie, why don't you begin? Okay, like I said before, we brought Mr. Brindle back from the gym after he hurt his back. Oh, oh no! It's a burglar! <laughs> All right, mister, what are you doing here? What does it look like, squirt? All right, everybody stay cool, and the little girl won't get hurt. I'm warning you, mister, if you harm one hair on my sister's head, or on those other heads that don't count, <laughs> I'm not responsible for my actions. You see, I have a black belt. <laughs> he also has black shoes, socks, and pants, but no black underwear. <laughs> is also a deadly weapon. <laughs> Come and get me if you think you're man enough. <laughs> Miss me! <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he'll be bothering us anymore. My hero! <laughs> and that's exactly the way it happened, Mr. Jennings. You showed unbelievable courage, Jamie. I noticed the table put itself back together. It was worth a shot. <laughs> really, Mr. Jennings, Mr. Jennings, I, 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 that isn't the way it happened at all. I was the hero. Well, what's your version, Harriet? Well, we brought Daddy back from the gym, and when it came into the room. <laughs> No. It's a burglar! <laughs> All right, mister. What are you doing here? Collecting for the Red Cross. <laughs> All right. Nobody move or the kid gets it. Let go of him, you slime. It's okay, Harriet. I have a black belt. <laughs> Mr. Karate, you're coming with me. You're my past out of here. No! Don't take my true love. If you must have a hostage, take me. My life is worthless without him. <laughs> my, what a courageous child. And what grace under pressure. <laughs> no, it's not courage. Only the beating of a woman's heart and her unselfish love for her man. If you harm him, what will I become? Just another extremely beautiful little girl with an unerring fashion sense. <laughs> please, please, no. You're, you're breaking my heart. Harriet, I never knew. Yes. <laughs> I've never known a woman so self-sacrificing. Take back your things. Uh, I'll go. There are other more deserving people to rob. <laughs> You've made the right decision. Bless you, sir. <laughs> and if that isn't the way it happened, Mr. Jennings, may lightning strike me. <laughs> well, Harriet, uh, that's, uh, that's quite a story. Quite. Harriet, I think your brain just fell out of your nose. <laughs> well, Mr. Jennings, are you going to believe the prattle of mere babes? Oh, it was worth a shot. <laughs> Let me tell you what really happened. As soon as I saw that we were faced by a desperate criminal, despite the pain in my back, I sprang into immediate action. Putting the children to one side and out of danger. Stand back. You there. What business have you in our room? Crime is my business. All right, nobody move or the little girl gets it. Daddy, give him anything, but don't let him harm us. I'll give him nothing. Villains, say your prayers. 
You have crossed paths with Touche Brindle. <laughs> Not the Touche Brindle. The same. So, we meet at last. I, too, was trained in swordsmanship at Sauvon, school of vicious criminals. En garde, vicious criminal. Hmm. I think it only fair to warn you. I have seen every Errol Flynn movie twice. God zooks, but you're good. Ah, oh, it's an honor to cross pokers with you, sir. For more! <laughs> Contratal comes to his denouement, does it not? You have chosen the wrong man to fump her with. <laughs> please, please, sir, spare me. I rob only to feed my wife and eight starving children. If you let me live, I promise to turn myself in. No, my son. There is no man so wretched as not to deserve a second chance. Go and be free, but vow to start life anew. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Careful, I chat easily. <laughs> what a guy. Our hero! And that's exactly the way it happened, Mr. Jennings. So, as you can see, I'm the one who deserves the reward. That's the most noble deed I have ever heard, Brindle. I could cry. I could throw up. <laughs> Mr. Jennings, that the way it happened. We'll split the reward. But it's very close. <laughs> I guess that settles it. You're the hero of the day. I wonder if you and your daughter would like to join me at the juice bar for a toast to your heroism. We'd be honored. Join us, folks? No, oh, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll be down in a minute, sir. Yeah. <laughs> what a pack of lies. <laughs> Only Vicky could talk. She'd tell us what really happened. Wait a minute. Maybe she can show us what happened. How, Dad? Everything that Vicky sees and hears is filed away in her bubble memory. The visual images are, are stored electronically as a, as a series of video screens. So if I wire her memory bank to the television set, we might be able to get a playback of exactly what she saw. Okay, we're all set. You're all wired up, Vicky. Now, if this works, everything we see will be through Vicky's eyes, exactly the way she saw and heard it. Oh, honey, that's fantastic. We'll also be hearing her central processing unit evaluate the information, sort of like uh, hearing her thoughts. Okay? That's great, Dad. Okay, let's see what we got here. <clears throat> okay, Vicky, play back what happened during the burglary. <laughs> Just a few more steps, Mr. Brindle. Uh, oh, Jamie, you're so strong. Note, Harriet is making her 5,198th pass at Jamie. She now qualifies for the Guinness Book of Records. <laughs> oh, no! It's a burglar! Okay, nobody move a muscle. Don't worry, I don't have any. Yeah, there's a guest in our room. I'm programmed to be nice to guests. No, get over here. This particular guest is pushing his luck. Please, please don't hurt us. You, you can have anything. Anything the Lawson's own. Don't worry, I know karate. Note, error, falsehood, bald-faced lie. <laughs> oh, please don't hurt him. He's my true love. My only reason for living. It's him or you, kid. I'll miss you, Jamie. <laughs> Everyone on the floor, face down. Ah, this is it. It's all over. I'll never know who won the Super Bowl. <laughs> Not far enough. Vicky, stop him. I can immobilize him. I can knock him out. And I can bend him into a pretzel. Or I can do a mix and match. That's a scary looking guy. Hey, 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 don't get brave with me, little girl. You're gonna stick your neck out for this bunch of losers? Stick my neck out. Wait a minute, Vicky. Go back to that last part before the uh, burglar ran out. Listen, now stop right there on that frame. Okay. Okay, now zoom into the belt buckle. Where have I seen that before? Right. Officer Fielding. Officer Fielding. 
That's right. I'll call security and have them check his room. If we're right, they should find the loot from the other burglaries there. Way to go, Sherlock. Elementary, my dear Lawson. 